everybody, it's Philly from Create and Curate here. How has everybody's week been? Mine has been good because the children have gone back to school. All of them. It's brilliant. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you two things. The first is I'm going to be showing you some of the things that I made over the summer holidays. And the second thing I'm going to be showing you is a couple of new patterns that I've bought in the McCall's slash Simplicity sale. Cannot wait. <laughs> So this is my first make, it is the Simplicity K9139 and this is the brick red corduroy that I got from Pound a Metre. I really like it, I like the pockets and I like the belts. The next dress, oh I absolutely love this, it's the Simplicity K9041 and it is just to die for. It's got pockets! Oh, I love everything about it. I love the float, I love the neckline, I love the sleeves. I'm unsure on the belt. I think I'm just tying it wrong but it looks really nice. It's just so comfy and it looks really pretty. Hmm. The next make, we all know what happened with this dress but this is the Simplicity S8981 and I've just turned it into a top. And finally I need to show you this. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. There's something about this fabric clearly. It's a raglan sleeve top with a high collar and just everything doesn't fit about it. Not for me. So which one was your favourite? Let me know in the comments. I just adore that simplicity dress. I'm going to make a million of them. Definitely going to make a million of them. I am not, however, going to be making a million of them anytime soon because we have some new patterns. Ta-da! So what have I bought? We have the McCall's 7739, which I thought would look really pretty for my five-year-old is going to be six and she's having a woodland fairy themed party and I thought that this would look really really pretty. She has also asked if she can have some fairy wings to go with it so I'm wondering if I'm gonna maybe have to make maybe this one so that because she won't be able to fit fairy wings over those sleeves will she? We'll have to see. I'll tell you what I am struggling to find is um, border fabric Maybe I'm searching the wrong stuff. Maybe I need to look for panels or something, but border fabric. If anybody knows where there's some, some like good, it's not so much about the quality, well obviously it's about the quality, but it's more about the quantity. Because she's having a woodland fairy birthday party, it, it kind of has to be fairy-ish without being too childish. It's very technical, please help send information in the comments. Um, the next one, oh, my days. So I bought the McCall's M8165 and I thought these dungarees, or not dungarees, but these this jumpsuit will look really really cute. I will definitely like it and it'll be really comfy. I love a baggy dungaree. I made it. I don't want to show you because it looks so awful. I'm um, I might build up to showing you. Wait till the end of the video and see if I've been brave enough to put it on there. <laughs> I'll put some music on and have a drink and then I'll put them on and do a little dance for you. Um, this is a no. I, I looked on Instagram and I looked on Pinterest and I looked on YouTube to see if anybody else had made them before I bought the pattern so that I could see what it looked like and how people had interpreted it and stuff like that. Couldn't find any makes and now I know why. Everyone's too ashamed to show them. Either I'm doing it really, really wrong or this pattern is a no-go, but I'll show you later. I do, however, like the dresses. They're pretty cute. The next pattern I've got, oh, McCall's M7902. Now this, look at all these different options. Can you see all of those? I am 
so invested in every single one of those options. I'm going to be making all of those. Um, oh, bought this for hubby. Oh, and for the big one, actually. M7486. This was, it's got t-shirt, trousers, hoodie and joggers on it as well. And it just looked really nice. And actually, because it was only a fiver, to have one, two, three, four, five different patterns on it. No brainer, right? And the last one, M7875, which is pajamas and a dressing gown. I am loving. Right, I genuinely, I would wear that out. <laughs> I would wear that as a dress. I think I've seen someone on Instagram that has made this as a dress. So I'm going to do a bit more research into that and then make myself some nice pajamas and a nice dressing gown. Oh, let me know in the comments whether you call it a dressing gown or a bathrobe, because I didn't know there was a difference. I thought a dressing gown was a dressing gown, which other people call bathrobes. Was I dragged up people? It's entirely possible. But all of those patterns were a fiver each. I mean, you just can't go wrong, can you? Perfect. So wonderful world of YouTube, what are you up to this weekend? What is on your sewing table? What patterns have you managed to nab that you are just desperate to get your hands on? Tell me, I would love to love to hear it. I hope that you all have a fantastic week and I can't wait to see you next time. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell button and then you'll be able to see my face every single week. Love you guys, bye. Thank you.